tremendous amount of team fight in the the way of magical damage, right? You have magnetize, uh -huh. you have epi, you have uh, Luna Eclipse as well as Tinker, and Pugna is gonna round things out. So I'm guessing this is what farming Dang. Pugna. If he rolls in and the Sand King's level two, they can get a pretty good amount of damage on him. But I don't think they could actually kill unless Shadow eats too many caustics. Oh, he's going to go for a roll, but it is a miss. He's uh, called he behind, did. so Shadow's going to stand right in the creeps and go for the call and try to get the spins out. Not going to get enough to get the kill on the Sand King, but uh, the Burrow out, and now Shadow only relying on RNG as the whole time Afu had been knocking him down with the Mighty Bat right there, and that was enough damage to get it done. Almost level 2 on the Earth Spirit, but uh, it does look like they are going to make a rotation over on the side of Wings, valuing the momentum in the lane stage early on. The Warlock comes in, but they want to be their move for Shadow here, and it looks like they may be able to get it, and they will. Man. But uh, a little bit of damage will be spread between the two. Sun Strike, admirable one there on the side shot, but not going to catch anybody. And he just squeezes himself right out, but oh man, that could have been disaster. Certainly ice ice to the rescue. Oh, bottom lane. Sun strike. strike. Kangaroo gonna get knocked down on that one. Beautifully set up there from wings, and they get themselves on the board for this game. That's like that's the trifecta. That's exactly what you want to happen. Now we could see some potential action here. Bottom lane, Burrow sets it up. Shadow sees that we have a revisitor here as Afu comes back to the bottom lane. Sunstrike to help, but it is mitigated between the two. He's oh. trying to go for an ambitious dunk, but it's not there. Not enough spins to be able to get it between the both. And uh, now it's Y caught between the two. He's going to try to run himself on out, but he gets rolled upon and he goes down. Afu making more marks in the early game here. Now in the bottom as Warriors Gaming pull ahead 4-1, to one, Draskal, against your TI6 champions. They're getting a lot going. The top lane's completely free, but here comes mid lane where wings are trying to set a rotation. They're trying to slow down the momentum of this ridiculous tinker, and they might get it now. But Pugna coming in with that life drain suck. They get it done, no problem. He even drops a nice little ceremonial ward on top of him. The tower, no deny will be had, and wings gaming, though they fall behind in kills, will take the first structure of the game. But looking to get their own top lane. Rock's going to get dropped as they go. Big damage comes out, and they're going to be able to take what looks like two here. Ah, Jit is going to be taken down at the end of that, and suddenly our game is back even. Man, Wings get something done in the mid lane and do not hesitate a second to make the jump happen at the top. Really take the momentum over, so this is a huge gank opportunity right now. They're moving on in, the tower goes down, they have an Eclipse, they're looking to catch him on the way back, and they could do so. There goes the Eclipse, the Burrow's going to be on the Warlock here, now he has no rock. They're going to quickly take down the Earthshaker, and it looks like Y is going to be isolated here and quickly shredded apart. Three go down all three that were standing in that top lane the gank was successful like yeah. i don't think warriors gaming can walk into this is just suicide they're they're way too well positioned they might do a soul dunks siege in the tower dunks and rocks potentially await oh my, oh my god, god the damage there on the luna will wipe her out immediately kangaroo is going to be forced to burrow strike to get back in a way but uh he is not gonna be able to make it too far there's the dunk there's the call wings gaming like a bat out of hell, Andy. They will also get the follow-up as they take down Nana, it looks like, in the bottom lane from Pugna. Three across the board. They set to strike, and they do it at the drop of a hat. Because I think uh, Warriors major. Gaming are going to be expecting him to come from a different angle, and they're going to go in straight behind them, and they are not going to see this they one are. coming. Kangaroo's like, in position to pop smokes on the way in from the direct left side, but they come up north instead. They jump on the back, and they instantly take out that Tinker. Now the Rock's going to be coming down, and Tinker's looking to get back in. Jumps on the back of a little Seder creep, and that's going to be good enough to get in there. They lose one per piece, and now the two's going to get dropped on the side of Wings. They hustle to make their way back out, but... The magnetize does spread. Now Blink, the man on the back end, trying to make his chase out and away. Gets hit with a rocket. Rolling Boulder, though, not going to be able to get connection. On the other side, Luna is going to get dropped there from the Warlock, and Blink's going to be able to Ghost Walk out. On the other front, Faith Beyond eats an Epi, and will be taken apart. It is a four-for-one trade at the end of the day. All going for Warriors Gaming. Uh, more GPM and whatnot makes you a stronger carry. But Wings, they're coming up the hill here. They got everything. They have that ward on the high ground. They don't know Kangaroo might be in the pit, though, is the problem. And he can make a jump over oh. the epicenter, but there's going to be the go. And the good Burrow catches him on the back inside. Can they take out the Warlock before a rock can even come out here? No, they will not. The rock's going to get dropped right now. And that's when Earth Spitter and Warriors Gaming are going to be fending off wings. Swinging a miss on the rolling boulder there. Um, High Size commits him with the epi to get down the Sand King. He will get dropped. Dominating now is going to be Blink, but at the end of the day, that's the only casualty of this skirmish. Yeah, Warriors Gaming uh, were the second team 
uh, to qualify through that C qualifier, but it was pretty much like faceless. That was the C team that was doing a lot of work. Fnatic wasn't really able to kind of, okay, hold on though. We're going to jump in play going from back and behind. Apu looking to kind of get the back liners before they can get anything off. Big combo does come out and they're going to be able to shred apart that Earth Spirit here. It'll be the first casualty. Link already committing his BKB on this one and... I think they just got a bit impatient. Like they weren't killing the tower that fast and maybe Apu wanted to try to make use of the... Actually, was the Aegis already down? Maybe it was. I'm not entirely sure, but it could have been fading really soon. Ooh. He might have said, okay, let's Ooh. go. Nana, oh, Nana caught there. They got it done. Nice That's a big one. The figure. But uh, they felt for this once before. This time they're a bit deeper into this bottom lane. Wings are still coming. Their smoke is about to expire. Shadow leading out the front. Kangaroo is the man in the back. Got the courier. The courier goes down, and that might spoil all the plans here for Wings, though. There's the jumping from Afu as they make to make their pounce onto Shadow. Shadow's gonna get the call off, pops his blade mail and quickly shreds apart the Warlock though. So that's gonna be taken apart. He was able to get the rock down. The rock is gonna get blasted though. Ajit rushing on in. Shadow healed up a little bit from Faith Beyond. Afu re-engages, gets off a nice stun, but there's the echo from Ice Ice and dunks it right onto Warriors Gaming. And they may have been be able to follow it up. They'll get the Luna takedown too. Beautiful stuff there from Wings, and they're not done yet. Little Nova on the other side is also going to get punished. Tinker is your only survivor. Your first confident and strong fight from Wings earns Blink a triple kill and a four-for-one trade for Wings. It's just very deep smoke here into Wings' territory, and they are going to be the one team now to kind of wrap and come in from behind. Are they going to be able to do so? Blink, a man who's never died, is the closest one, but he spots what's happening. Gets off a nice two-man tornado, still hangs around, going to get hit from a burrow. Now pops his BKB, Fisher comes in, a casual dunk, but not going to do a whole lot of damage there, unfortunately, for Ice Ice, but they will be able to get the jump in, they will be able to get the call. Disruption save does come out. Ajit commits him with the Eclipse. It's mitigated between the creeps and a lot of other factors here. Trying to run back the way is going to be Wings. They will get down Kangaroo. Blink in a lot of trouble. Oh my will God. go into the Ghost Walk. Runs back out and away. Nana's in trouble. Has no more mana. Magnetize comes off, but it might be a bit too late on this one. Warriors Gaming have not much left in the oh. tank to offer. Three-man tornado. <laughs> jumping call. Shadow gets it done. Triple kill for Blink. And we're not done yet as they're going to be able to isolate and take down the Luna. Another four-man drop. Tinker brought oh back my for God. this. He's, He's not going to get in the him. fight now. He's trying to get Blink. He wants that bounty. Can he get it? They roll in for it and they finally kick his ass to the curb and they will take him down shadow though still in the mix a buyback actually comes out blink is not going to have any of it he's a man who will die once but he will not allow it warriors gaming will be able to make it back it away but that tinker died for the second time drascal that is a five-man takedown on the side of warriors gaming wings will lose three but there's no reason to bkb really for anything but epi and the the luna right so as soon as Eclipse comes out, there's one BKB target, two Forge Spirits, and a Golem. It's like, oh, okay. No. This is taking too long, Andy. They're back there, they jumping in. Shadow has to run back out. He pops his BKB just in time to avoid that burrow. Blink pops his own, and he wants to just go right in on the Earth Spirit. He is going to get saved. Nice save there from the Shadow Demon. Gets off a good disruption. Blink. Running back it away. Epi, though, falling a bit short, and now his life getting sucked away. He has to burrow out. Oh, God, he got him. <laughs> Beautiful Sunstrike comes out from Blink, and they get right back into work, going for the Roche. Jumping could be there, and they're going to look to contest it. Not going to get it. Blink picks up the Aegis, and he quickly wipes the floor with the two. Oh, no. Grasping at straws. Warriors Gaming frantic to try to put themselves back into this game that it looks like they may have lost all momentum in. Level 16, and after Luna has, like, Eclipse cast and all that other stuff. So now their damage scaling has stopped, and Wings are going to continually get more tanky. The team fight potential is just not quite Ooh. there. They're going to find they Kangaroo. They spotted a Kangaroo Sand King, and they take him out. That's 60 seconds without a buyback. Do that deep push here. I don't know, Shadow on the sides trying to get some, some, some sort of jump in call to drag someone out, but no target yet. Afu nearby. Uh, and there's going to be that call play right onto Afu the second he makes that kick. Nice Fisher, nice follow-up rock, connects onto three. Uh, Jit's going to be forced to BKB and run back, pops out the Eclipse, trying to do everything he can. A lot of it's going to be onto the Golem. Shadow, Glimmer, trying to save up a lot of his life, runs right back into Vicious Lee to try to get off the call. Tries to do the soak of the damage, and now Warriors Gaming go on in. They get the Zap and the Blast. Ice Ice commits in the dunk, turns it back. The Luna's very low, but now Wings regroup, posture back a bit, and uh, Warrior Gaming... I have to frantically get back indoors here, but not committing in too much. Very touch and go. Blink goes back in and sees the Roche is vacant. And sees if he can muscle it down himself. The poison stacks are slowly building up. 
So shut up, stop doing that as he hits him with a tornado. <laughs> but that's not stopping him there yet. Off looking to make his go along with the Epi. The BKB is going to be coming off now, and so is the Rock. It's going to be right onto Ajit. But Ajit continues to dish out the right clicks now, and a lot of the damage even going onto Roche here. Wings go to the south side. Crimson Guard up, Wade out, Ice Ice goes back in with a dunk, but he gets quickly blasted down, not going to be good enough, shout to the high ground, gets the grab onto Nana, Nana, eating way too much damage oh. from the Pugna, meanwhile they will be able to get the Aegis down, it's picked up from Ajit, as they are waiting inside the pit here, Shadow's stuck on the high ground, they go for him, meanwhile oh. Afu getting leached a bit of his damage, could be able to make it back in a way, but my god, this axe continues to live while Blink goes to work on the low ground, he forces himself out to the safety area, will get the dunk and the takedown on the Earth Spirit, Nana is back, looking to shred them apart with the rockets coming out. Why? Frantically running away from Nova, trying to make it back out. Can't make it out. The missiles catch up, and they're going to be going for Blink. He turns back, gets off the tornado, but eventually they should be able to take him down. I say that, but he's got the BKB. He's rushing. He drops the ice wall, but eventually they hop up over that wall, and they will be able to bring him down. Triple kill for Nana. Four go down from Wings. The dust settles. The recap there whereas not yeah. i can just keep refreshing you know there's uh there's four staff from the air spirit he can roll up there and kick you off there's four staff on the sand king there's just so many Ooh. ways okay Nana commits in can't get his Ooh. bkb off oh they get the disruption he's off still in dead, time, but he's dead for sure he pops his bkb but the damage had already been done lead in now Ajit pops his own bkb they look to turn back face beyond trying to give all the life back into him they managed to keep him alive and well that's going to be good tornado off the mark Ajit running away, has no more magic immunity, trying to use the butterfly to make it out. They catch him with a dunk, and still Nova nearby, saves him with a disruption, but he is caught between three. Ice wall on top, it's beyond looking to go for the life drain here, but now jumps in Kangaroo with a big epicenter. Glimmer Cape keeps him alive, Deafening Blast forces them back. Blink now rushes out, long kick of the boulder smash, not going to find its target. And the ward right in the middle will fend off Warrior Gaming. They will not pursue on this day position and oh no he's hanging in the lane andy this is a dead luna she has a bkb but oh i say that are they gonna are they gonna pounce i don't doesn't know if wings like want to go on oh him. my god she is running right into him though he just casually calls doesn't blink in shadow but catch him. Right, awkward very board. awkward start extremely awkward on the other side though that's when they commit in the rock nana though with the bkb is able to stand strong and gets his out everything he can from this tinker front Wings step back out after taking down the Earth Spirit here. Frantic Eclipse, but drained away. That Aegis is going to be claimed there from Wings. They wait for the second life. Kangaroo trying to create a bit of space with a jump in Burrow. The lead in from Ice Ice gets off the dunk. Look at Isolate this Tinker, and he is taken apart. Luna back behind the team, and Shadow Demon stuck on the high ground, it would appear. Disarm the Luna, backs out in a way, eats a bit of life drain. Kangaroo again trying to help out with that burrow, but it's a bit too much damage. Fifth Beyond with the life drain, with the call, with Blink's Invoker. It's just too much to handle here from Warrior Gaming. Has one, and she is going to be forced to use it potentially because these mid lane racks are down. I don't think they can even afford to buy back. That's the problem. Like, they have a tier 2 in the top lane. So, if they buy back now, and they don't defend this, and they lose one more hero, I mean, it's, it's not going to be great. Well, gonna try ooh, they bought back. They're about to lose a hero. It's a Shadow Demon. And uh, Shadow showing he's the real shadow of them all, staying way deep inside the base. The buyback will be there from Nova. And he's trying to take down that ward, but it's not going to be good enough. There's the Lunas. Going to be potentially isolated here, but he's able to get a good hold here. Kangaroo dishes the burrow. She tries to get off the right click, but that's when Ice Ice makes his jump in. They focus her down. There is going to be a disruption save, but it's only temporary here. Shadow's going to look to get the finish onto Nova while they clean up the Luna. That's her buyback. She is gone. The dieback is there from both. And this could be the beginning of the end. Wings Gaming hold out a struggling early laning phase here in hopes of clinching this one back. Kangaroo on the outside of the base here will be easily handled between the rest of Wings Gaming. Here comes Nana with the final Harava defense. All on him right now to defend, and he is dancing between four. He's trying to zap down one. He will be able to get it, but that is the only life he will get. He gets cleaned up there at the end. Wings Gaming wipe out GG. Warriors Gaming, and that will be game number one. Holy. That was a really unfortunate ending for Warriors Gaming. Like, so many things went wrong so fast. Like, the fight in the woods, losing to Luna. She didn't even get the cheese off. Like, she You know, once she gets that ag, she has wonderful bursting potential, great fight setup, and oh, apparently that's a hero too. Wind Ranger, that's one I you know. 
he is going to be spotted. Oh, and that does block the camp. Okay, it is right in the corner, so he'll have to look elsewhere if he wants to get that first creep. Yeah, just trying to delay as much as possible, I guess. So roll in. Misses oh, the power okay. shot. Okay. Okay. That. The miss. Oh, got oh. it. Uphill does not miss, and they will claim first blood right on that enchantress. Beautiful oh. roll in, but they will claim a life themselves. They get the enchantress takedown, man. Elder Titan sporting all that right click damage. Is able to pop them down. Yeah, I say it's also well. going to get dropped. Yeah, it's two for one trade, but we keep chase here for Afu because they get that long little fortune's end, but it's not going to be good enough to get the finish. Because he had to walk all the way back to lane after the fight. That's yeah. why he died. I was like, that should pretty much never happen. Because Ooh, you can Seder press... Creep, bottom lane, purging its way onto the Drow. Shadow, multi-purge, not going to be able to make it away. He goes down, and now they look to Ice Ice here. Him and Y hiding behind, and behind the trees here. The PA, though. Happy to just dive on in, continue to hit with the daggers. Boulder Smash will connect onto two, and he'll be able to roll the boulder back and away, but the chase continues for uh, Jit, and they'll be able to get it done. That's a nice little takedown there. And uh, they'll be able to walk away with the snag. Gank happening here onto Y, surrounded, but nice little Shadow Gust pops in. Stops them from pursuing, but now they're going to put their focus onto Shadow. Blink Strike in allows connection of the dagger. Now a roll forward comes out from Ice Ice as they put pressure. Nice two man connection with the Boulder Smash. Allows them to get the finish onto the Elder Titan, but they will be able to turn it around, making it a better trade as they take out Shadow. And they're going to get another double kill for Ajit with the kill onto Y. And uh, well, Ajit may lose his own life for it. He's just valiantly running the other way, but he's happy to get the double kill at the end of the day. I think that burst damage between him and the Oracle might be enough to, to get a kill, but I think you kind of want to... I guess you have to go on the uh, Enchantress, right? She's the one with the least amount of health. She's coming in from the side. They're forced to go on an Elder Titan as he's the one that crosses their path, but look how quick PA tries to jump right in for Shadow, and he just gets his TP canceled. Crushed on down, pops off the wand, barely able to live. Nice step in from Blink, will be able to get the finish, but they still take down Shadow with those Enchantress creeps. Can they at least follow it up with another kill to make it justifiable? They get good connection with the Rolling Boulder. Nice Boulder Smash right after it, but they need a bit more, they'll get it. Right click comes out from Ice Ice, and they will make this a two for one trade. Oh. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of Elder Titan man. actually gets credit too. Oh, unfortunate there, but Wings will I mean, be present at least for two of the kills. Is that out? Blink, yeah, I do manage to find a kill on the, the Oracle on the bottom lane as well. There was no blink there on the Legion Commander. I guess it was just a dagger into a dive. And speaking of dives. Yep, they are way deep now to get this Enchantress. With the help of that Shackle, they will be able to get it done. Kangaroo's moving in. Doesn't have the duel or anything, but he is able to get the kill. That one's going to be easy, and Blink could be dropping as well. Able to get the wind run off, goes for a TP, but that ain't happening. There is a Starfall coming, and the double proc will even hit too. Kangaroo up to 20 damage, by the way. He must have been uh, part of that kill in the bottom lane, while as we see... A takedown as Afu will also get dropped to catch the back end of that one. Wings able to kind of capitalize on that, but are they going to be able to make it away? Shadow gets hit and he gets hit hard. He's going to get dropped real fast. Oracle also left behind. He's certain to drop. They know that, so they want to follow it up and try to get Faith too. Waiting for the duel. They got it, and they'll get even more damage from it. Just as I was saying, things were looking a bit better for Wings in the early game as opposed to the other two series or whatever. It's a very, very scary thing. Although I guess at the same time, Wings also have their initiation item as well as Faith Beyond's going to pick up his own Blink Dagger. He's going to check the pit. There's the break. Bumps up Moran into the high ground, but she does have that leap to make it back down oh. and below. But a Bat Rider's on the prowl, and they're very nervous about finishing off this Roche with him in the area and with the rest of Wings around. Nice connection. Three people going to get hit from that oh Boulder Smash and allows him to take down two right away. This Roche is very weak. Are Wings going to consider moving in and trying to get the finish? They are. Nana still on the high ground. Finally, the Star in. Storm. goes in with a Star Storm. It's not going to be enough for the finish, oh. and Wind Ranger will pick it up. Blink is the man, or Blink is the man with the new Aegis now. Gets a false promise, but that won't save him. He'll quickly lose that Aegis life. Kangaroo sports another 10 damage. He's up to 50 now, and then he gets blasted down right after that. And three are going to get dropped from Warriors Gaming. Wings in classic fashion. Ooh, almost get Nana, but let's go ahead and try to take the game back now, guys. Let's win this fight. Okay, no problem. We'll go do that. Bottom now. Just coming off the momentum of making that good movement with the Blink Dagger. They're looking to get a second kill with it. This one, a direct grab onto the PA, and that will do the job. Uh, dust out nearby, Nana, Moonlight Shadow, and with a haste rune here, hoping for maybe a single pickoff on the Oracle, an arrow plus double Star Storm could do it, potentially. Misses with the arrow, though. 
and uh, still considers moving in for it. Nice. That Fates Edict will cancel out that nuking damage, but uh, here comes an Earth Splitter. Not going to do a whole lot of work. Warriors Gaming down a couple of couple of skills here. A middle lane not as well. Not get anything from it. Yeah, middle lane, we catch the very back end of that. Blink diving in deep while all the action's happening in the bottom lane. He will take a support himself with the Enchantress. He's able to sidestep the arrow here, but not those arrows. Turns back for the Shackle, but it's a bit too late, and he will lose his own life. Nana picks that one up. Here now, though, feels it's appropriate. He hits like a freaking truck. He has 64 so much damage bonus damage. damage. It's crazy. Oh, just on the other side, though, going to see the opponent get lassoed up. Quickly gives her the purge, but not going to be good enough. And now they see that Kangaroo's nearby, and they want to go for her. And uh, unfortunately, they were not going to have a way to cancel the TP. Full mana bar. That's true. That is true. So you just force and bless them until they're finally stunned. Uh-oh. Run in from Kangaroo. He has duel up. He sees Ice Ice. And it's time to do, 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 hand over more damage. Oh, False Promise is there! Oracle says, don't take more damage! Saves his buddy. He gets out the Magnetize and starts charging it up as frantically as possible. But unfortunately, the duration will not stack like that. And they should be able to shrug up the majority of this ma magic damage. Faith Beyond, though, still lingering around nearby, is going to get punished. And that's two down. Oh my god, and, the crit. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, is Ajit gonna do it again? Make the move and go into the pit now. So, Alright, here we go. The let's see if the answer is there. Is there any there. down? Okay, there is a sentry, okay. I, I didn't see it at the start. They do have the Elder Titan. His oh, stomp no. is not gonna quite connect, but it does hit the connection. False Promise will be there to try to save Blink, but. He is certainly dead. Ate way too much damage during that bubble. Will not allow the handover of extra damage, but nonetheless, the game is already on now. Shadow to the high ground to be able to make it back away, but the chase is on now from Warrior Gaming heading up through the staircase. Magnetize connects onto him quite a bit. Wings trying to split, but there goes one. Quickly cr critted and tear it apart. It's going to be Ice Ice. On the other front, they will be able to get the Legion Commander and the Marana. Double takedown for Wings. Buyback is going to be forced out now from the Elder Titan to the bottom lane. Because he can throw the spirit in and he can stomp as well. That's true, He's got yeah. it back up. He's going to see how low Roshan is, too. Quick stop now! Oof, no, almost didn't had get the it. timing there. A jump in oh, from Odd God. And ah, shit, he didn't get it. But why did the high ground try to dodge it? And he will get blasted apart. This PA is dead, dead, dead. It was an ambitious effort. Was it necessary? I don't know, but... The Elder Titan can walk back towards the pit. He can blink out after he respawns. And then, you know, wings come out with like a net zero. And both teams expended one buyback. So I, I think his heart was in the right place. Mmm, slow cooked venison. That's dear, right? Faith Beyond just torching up Lady Enchantress right now has been on her tail for quite a while. After six stacks, they'll finally take her apart. Behind here still holds his Shadow Blade. Ten more seconds of cooldown under the Moonlight Shadow. They're coming in from behind. Wings game here. Are they going to be ready for it? Long arrow. No connection for the Oracle. But they finally get the duel uh, off. But he gets hit with a Fate Edict. He's not going to be able to do any right-click damage. Beautifully done right there. On the other front, they were going to be able to get the Elder Titan. Now Frantic. Nana able to make it back in a way. Kangaroo still up in arms and can't get the finish on that Oracle as he false promises himself. Desperate for the dive. Makes it back in a way. TP is stopped. And he's going to be shot down. Quick Fates Edict, beautifully done there by Y. That was nice. The wings just don't have that. They have different heroes every goddamn game, so the study is just not there. Oh, oh, they got her. Nana, hog tied up and trapped down right against a tree. Hmm. Yeah, that was... Easy quick um, snipe. If he was planning on making a jump there, that would have been very unsuccessful, but it looks like he's hesitant. Game senses are tingling, but they know okay. he's there. Oh my god, they just jump right in and shackle him up. Nana, though, is nearby, tries to help out, but quickly realizes there's nothing he can do. Okay, Ice Ice, casually just gets the rolling boulder over to make the catch up on the Nana. Unfortunately, does kick Nana, which is not what you want to do. Nonetheless, though, it ends up working out. He gets a false promise that will heal him up. He needs more heals, though. He could be going down. Starstorm hit him. He's fine. He's got plenty of heals there. Nonetheless, secures them two pickoffs and an opportunity to ascend into the high ground here in the mid lane, and suddenly they're doing some work onto this tier three. Um, Ice Ice will eat. Bulk of damage gets healed up. Blink, blink though. Instantly caught out right there. And they're not going to be able to get the save. He goes down. That's damage rewarded. Buybacks begin to come out. And Ajit begins to jump oh. in. Gets the crit, gets the kill. Quick snipe right there by him. As the Batrider is going to be just evacerated. 
And suddenly, four drop from wings, just like that, as Warrior ga Warriors Gaming emphatically hold the mid lane. Yes, yes they do. A quick glyph will be forced out from wings, and now a buyback on top of it. For a second, it looked like Warriors Gaming were thinking about doubling back, but they will stick it out, at least for the Tier 3. Maybe they realize how much damage they actually do, and uh, quickly do work, also taking down the melee Rex. 78 bonus damage on the Legion Commander. A jumping from Ice Ice. Gets a stun. Shackle. Okay, sure, that connects. Why not? Right over there on the right-hand side, and that will earn them the kill. And then a follow-up stun leads to another. Double pick-offs there for Wings. The rest of Warriors Gaming, though, just get the hell out. Down from, from Warriors Gaming here with Elder Titan set to be up in just under 10 seconds. Oh, he doesn't care. He wants to buy back now. So he wants to be in tip-top shape and ready. Wings they don't, have don't care. They go right back in. You take our racks. We want to take one of yours. A jump in his had and a potential opportunity to take advantage of Ajit as he's going to be taken apart. That's a buyback force out from him. A jump in comes out from the Legion Commander. He secures a good kill on the Oracle and would secure the bonus damage. Now they're running for more. Can they get a hold of Shadow here? Nice kick stun, but it does miss Nova, who will get that last little strike in and get the finish. Ice Ice rolls to the high ground to try to make it back in the way, but Kangaroo is just slashing him from the back unmercifully. He turns oh. around to try to kick him off his ass, but it's not going to matter. He gets blasted down nonetheless and back the other way we go warriors gaming claim three lies themselves he's mm -hmm. still working with uh, just the mkb the blink and the agonims but he's not in a position to really do anything out on the map oh man they're gonna run right into faith beyond i think oh yeah faith beyond gladly runs right up through the lane but they go for the better target and they go for blink on the back inside he does get a false promise so save good. but he's eating way too much damage damage will not be awarded to the oh, leading commander but blink is certainly dead he gets dropped the rest of wings frantically make it back into the oh. base but they might not be able to make it out nice connection with the silence and a mag magnetize will come out but he will eventually get dropped. Warriors Gaming now flooding into the base, potentially on the verge of pulling out the first upset. Blink is out. He has no buyback, and this could do it. Warriors Gaming, did they just 2-1 TI6 Champions Wings Gaming? Hmm, they may have. I think they might have. I mean, there's cheese on Kangaroo as well. They still had the Aegis. Still 40 seconds left on Blink to be alive. He's like one of their main sources of damage. I don't think they can hold it. Tier 4's oh in trouble, God. jump in, insta-kill, Drow is out. Drow does have a buyback, Drow has to use it, comes right back into this, but she dies again. This is definitely over. One okay, Tier 4 still deep. stands. Maybe that's nice, deep. that's nice. A little lasso pullback, get some caught inside the, the fountain. And now, frantically, Ajit does try to blink strike back in a way, but they catch her with the stun. Blur is shrugging off a lot of the arrow damage, pops the BKB, looks to re-engage, but doesn't want to fully commit and go full Divide on this one. Warriors Gaming, it's like, guys, we got a lot. Let's just get the hell out while we can, please, for the love of God. But uh, it's not so easy here. On the other front, though, Nova does some good work and is able to get the finish, taking out the Bat Rider. He will buy back now, and Wings Gaming still up in arms quite a bit with Ajit. Now the Elder Titan going to be focused back. He's going to go down. Nana pops in, gets a, a good stun, but then, of course, will leap back in a way. Like a Tricor with an Elder Titan aura. I think that Warriors Gaming have the, the late game pretty handedly here. Might not be much of a late game here if they get a good fight. They are creeping in through the front door. Ward slowly in. They're still smoked. And they jump on Blink. They see Blink right under the tower. They try to go for him. A False Promise will be there. They even give him the Fates Edict. It might mitigate a lot of the damage, but there's still plenty of pure damage coming out with the help of those Javelins. He second guesses committing in, but he will certainly get popped. That's going to be a buyback now coming out from him. There's a pretty good Magnetize here. Forces Warriors Gaming back in away. They'll reset. Nova, though, heads out the other direction and will be isolated and taken apart. So it's going to be 1-1 one, one apiece. Warriors Gaming, not good enough for them to kind of... Because of the amount of damage and the, the farm advantage that they currently hold, is like kind of wasting the ulti. The only thing you're using it for is to prevent him from snowballing even harder. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you don't want to be stuck in a situation. You have to try to use it to your advantage to be able to pull the game back in. They're trying to pull back Ajit on this one. He's able to make it out on the back end of that lasso. BKB's up. Blink continues to chase. They'll finally get it. But, oh, man, potentially three slashes could do the work. But there's that false promise once and again. But, again, it will not reward the damage, but it will reward the kill. And that is going to be Blink out. He has no buyback here. Warriors Gaming Faith could Beyond also be Faith Beyond on this one. Oh. Oh, nice jump in, though, from Ice Ice. Hits with the Magnetize. Rolls it on out. But, of course, the Yules is going to cancel out that Magnetize. Ice Frog... Really did a number on the Earth Spirit with that one, and <laughs> he's going to be able to make it back out in a way. <sighs> or do they just want to go straight for Throne? No, straight down mid, Blink there, is yeah, gone. They're going straight down mid. All right, here we go. I don't think Drow has a buyback either. 
No. 30 seconds. Warriors Gaming going for the closure here. Tier they 4 is down. It's all on the Ancient. And they're going right for it. There is a cliff to stall them. Faith Beyond looking to drag oh, someone. Agnum's, he gets an Agnum's drag oh, back here. Can he get him inside the base? It's not going to be good enough. They live on. Kangaroo, though, could be going down here and eventually will get dropped at the back end of it. But look at Warriors Gaming. They're going to be going instead for what's important. And that's the Aegis or the Ancient here. Knowing that they could potentially pull out the upset. They oh, they got Faith it. Beyond they the got in, it. And it looks like that should do it. They'll take him down. And that's going to be game. Congratulations. Warriors Gaming do it! They pull out the upset and they will take down TI6 champions, Wings Gaming, in the very first round of the Boston Major Group Stage.